Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Sleeping Giants here on Reese FC. If you haven't already done so, please subscribe to the channel below and if you enjoy this video please give it a like. When you subscribe, hit the little bell as well so you'll be notified when a video has been uploaded. Now then, we've come back slightly, well we've come back at the right time. Uh, we were due to come back after the FA Cup game, third round game, which was against Barnsley. We won 3-1 so we got through comfortably there. But we've come back instead of Arsenal. Arsenal will still be in this episode. Leicester's been pushed out of it because we have reached the Carabao Cup semi-final. We've got a tough draw against Manchester United. So yes, another big game at Ewell Park against Manchester United to come for you. But let's have a recap of what's happened since he was last with us. Bradley Dack got himself a hat-trick against Newcastle United. It was 1-0 down in this game. The first here coming up. Dak doing the usual Dak thing and getting in towards the, pe the penalty area. Getting into the penalty area, sorry, at the penalty spot and slotting home. He got his second to make it 3-1. Another brilliant finish there. He then got our fourth in the game as well. Rankin Costello crossing beautifully. Eze knocking it down for him and there was Dak's hat-trick. Armstrong got a brace against Brentford and a big 2-0 victory at home to them. Lovely ball over the top and a fantastic volley from Armstrong to give us the lead. Armstrong then dispossessed the Brentford defender. Run through on goal, one-on-one -on -one with the keeper, slotted home nicely. The keeper probably could have done better, but it's a beautiful finish from Armstrong. Saar stepped up for Southampton in the Carabao Cup quarter-final game where we won 4-2 on penalties, but in the 84th minute, Jack Brutland pulled off that tremendous save. So today, it's Manchester United then in the semi-final first leg. And this is the team we have gone with today. We're back to full strength from that FA Cup game where we did rest a lot of players. It's Butland, Bell, Lenihan, Adarabayo and Yambe, Travis Phillips, Eze, Dak and Bogar with Adam Armstrong up front. Armstrong, as you saw in the highlight package there, Getting a brace against Brentford. He scored quite a few goals. He's filled in for Fabio Silva. He's been injured pretty much the whole time since he was last with us. And, you know, we, we, we haven't missed him as much as I thought we would. But he's a, he's a key player for us. When Armstrong... Uh, there was a stage where Armstrong was out injured as well and Penaranda played up front. He didn't play too well, to be honest. But, he you know, Armstrong was only out with a bit of an illness. He wasn't out too long. But here's a first chance for us here in the game first highlight falls for us it's a free kick Bogart to whip it in it's a good ball in and we're one nil up it's the captain Dara Lenihan with the goal it's a great start for us here at Ewood Park and if we've got any chance of going through to the final you feel we have to get a very good result here maybe take a two goal lead at least to United because it will be tough going to Old Trafford as we know but we, it's a great start for us one nil up here Throwing for us now in the 10th minute. Boga on the ball. Niambe picks it up. Come on, let's get a second. And it will really put Man United under pressure, won't it? Bogar's in the box. It's a poor finish. Maybe he should have squared that there. I think Adam Armstrong was at the edge of the six-yard box. So he had a great opportunity if Bogar would have crossed it to him. Tosin on the ball now. Plays it out wide to Bogar. Bogar coming forward. Poor challenge there from Brandon Williams. Completely missed it. Armstrong's in the box again. And his effort hits the side net in. Good opening 15 minutes from us here. Let's drop the boys some praise. I think it's fair enough. Manchester United now with free kick. Fernandez, lovely ball in. We haven't dealt with it well. We have finally got it. Well, we haven't got it away yet. We're playing about of it in our own box. Get rid of it, boys. I don't like this when we do it. Butland, Lenihan. Tosin Adarabayo, the Manchester City man. Of course, he's on loan to us from them. Manchester United's big rivals. Lovely ball over the top. Armstrong's in. Adam Armstrong. It's a fantastic finish. What a ball from Calvin Phillips. And what a goal from Adam Armstrong. The man bang in form. He is there to replace Fabio Silva at the moment who is out with that injury. But it was a fantastic goal from Armstrong. How many goals have we scored like this? Dak Phillips. They can ping a ball forward. And it's beautiful ball. Armstrong broke the offside trap and gives us a 2-0 lead over Manchester United in the first leg of the Carabao Cup semi-final. Half an hour gone. It's been the perfect first half for us. Not a lot from Manchester United. Plenty of highlights from us. And 
let's hope we can hold on to this. So there's been a few battles uh, throughout this series, hasn't there, between us and Manchester United at Ewa Park, especially. That's a great effort there, and it's a fantastic save from Jack Butland. And can he gather this one? He has. He's been a hero. He's been one of the best signings, I think, in this series. Absolutely superb. His penalty saves have been fantastic. He's kept us in a lot of games. He pretty much single-handedly got us to the semi-final with his penalty shootout and the penalty save in that quarter-final game against Southampton. Armstrong turning his man well. Look at him. He's ploughing through the defence. Can he get another one? It's a good save from the Manchester United keeper. Who's that in goal? Is that David De Gea? I didn't actually look to see who was in goal for Manchester United. Doesn't look like De Gea from here. Phillips with the ball in, lovely ball in, and it is De Gea. There's confirmation. He's gone blonde all of a sudden, David De Gea. And it's 2-0 at half-time. Fantastic. Maguire picking up a yellow card right on half-time. We're going to tell the boys not to get complacent. Um, can we tell them that? There we go. That will do. I was looking right at it. Second half underway here. And... 2-0 oh, would be fantastic to take to Old Trafford, for sure. It really would. It's just trying not to concede a goal. They just bought an Edison Cavani. Never heard of him. wan on the ball now. Manchester United starting to play a bit of football around us now. Here's Jaden Sancho coming forward. He's in the box. Don't bring him down. Of course, he brings him down. We keep giving penalties away. It's really annoying. It's going to go to VAR. We know it's going to be given. But now, can Butland... I've been... Saying about his penalty heroics, can this be another penalty save? Jack Butland against Rashford, and Butland couldn't quite get there. Rashford buries it. An hour gone here at Ewood Park, and it's Blackburn Rovers 2, Manchester United 1. Mm, changes, 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 I think. Let's have a look at the fitness levels. I didn't pause it. I paused it now. All good. Bradley Dack, 78%. It's tough. When, when it's a tight game like this, it's really tough to... Try and make changes. I think I'm going to bring off Eze and put on Panoranda. I think that might do for now. I don't want to overcomplicate things and and whatnot. Let's tell the boys to... Let's demand more from the boys. And we've got an injury right after making the change. It is Travis who has picked up an injury. I think the only option is to bring in Rothwell there. Can we swap these around? I think that will do. I think it's going to have to fill in there. Joe Rothwell, let's hope he can perform well for us here. We've got 12 minutes remaining here at Ewood Park. We're still 2-1 up. And we've got another highlight, and it's in our favour here by looks of it. Bogart on the ball, plays it back to Ryan Yambe. Phillips, don't lose it there. He doesn't. Does well to win it back and get it under control. Bogart's ball in, looking for Armstrong. He's not the tallest of guys, so he probably was never going to win that against that Manchester United back line. Lenehan pings one up there. Armstrong, Matt Maguire beats Armstrong in the air. Bruno Fernandes sends Cavani through on goal here. Come on, don't bring him down. Don't bring him down. Keep him there. Support is arriving for him. Here's Marcus Rashford. Rashford's in the box. What on earth did he try there? I'd be fuming with him if I was Ole Gunnar Solskjaer trying that. Bogart on the ball. Oh, that was beautiful from Bogart. He's absolutely destroyed Brandon Williams there with a beautiful bit of skill. Panoranda's in. Panoranda, good block. Oh, thought we was going to have a third there. We're absolutely ripping Brandon Williams apart, aren't we? Here is Williams on the ball. Go on, give it away. Give it away. He does. It's a poor free kick. He's having a nightmare, old Brandon Williams. Dak, back to Phillips now. Phillips pings one across. Well, that's probably not the best ball, to be honest. That's a silly idea, really. Sergio coming through now. It's a great chance for United. And he's absolutely spooned it. It was an absolute sitter for him. And here, let's tell the boys to concentrate a bit now. We're in the box here. Bogar, Bradley Dak. Oh, he's trying to ping one up to Armstrong. Play it low, he'll score. He's never going to win a header there. Adarabayo, back out wide to Inyambe. It's five minutes added on of injury time here. Inyambe, Bradley Dak now. Pings one in. Panoranda up. Armstrong's efforts, 3-1. I've got a feeling it's offside. It is. Oh, that would have been nice, wouldn't it? take a two goal lead to Old Trafford but it was offside I did call it as soon as he struck it he's offside there yeah it just it's unfortunate I don't think he's expecting Penaranda to get the ball back to him to be perfectly honest with you couple of minutes left here at Ewood Park oh it's a late highlight for Manchester United I don't like this I really don't like this Brandon Williams puts the ball across and oh Sancho should have scored it was a poor effort it was offside anyway so it wouldn't have mattered. It would have been equally as better, though, if he did score that and it was given offside. I'd love that. 
That would have been fantastic. The Manchester United fans would have been going wild, but the celebration would have been cut short, and it's a fantastic victory. It's 2-1. It's a shame we couldn't hold on to the two-goal lead, um, but we take a lead to Old Trafford, and that is the most important thing. That's going to be a big game up there. We've got a great chance of getting to the final. So it's Arsenal up next for us here in the Premier League. And this is the team we've gone with. It's Butland, Bell, Lenihan, Adarabayo and Yambe. Davenport is in for Travis, who was injured in the semi-final of the Carabao Cup against Manchester United. Phillips, Eze, Dak, Bogar. And of course, it's Armstrong up front. Still no Fabio Silva. Still out injured. And I forgot to see when he's back to let you know um, when to expect to see him again. But hopefully he'll be back for you before the next episode we're going to tell the boys to pick up where we left off in the last game tell them we have faith it's a big game here at the Emirates Arsenal just above us in the top four race it'll be nice to pick up some points from here we're five points behind Arsenal they are currently occupying fourth position well they are in this game currently it looks like with this draw they go above Tottenham so maybe Tottenham have already played Again, I didn't check that. 17 minutes gone here. Not a lot, awful lot happening here at Arsenal so far. We'll take a point all day long at the Emirates because it's a tough it's a tough place to go. If we take a, if we get a point and then we're still five points behind them, I I think I think that's pretty pretty decent. Pity with the ball in. There's a header just past the post. We'll take that all day long. It's a good chance there for Arsenal, and it's their only chance so far. We've only had one shot as well. I say it's their only chance so far. I mean, highlights-wise, we haven't seen anything else from them at all. We're approaching half-time. It's a pretty dull affair. It's not like the semi-final you've just seen. And it is nil-nil at half-time. We're going to tell the boys... Do you know what? I'm going to go attack in second half. That might sound ridiculous. I'm going to tell the boys... There's... I have faith in them. I'm going to tell the strikers we have faith in them. And we're going to go attack in here at Arsenal. I'd like to think we can beat them we've got enough in the tank we're probably gonna get slaughtered now but i'd rather just go for it if i'm honest with you Aubameyang picks it up he's playing pretty deep is he playing is he dropped to like left mid or something now he's probably about 38 in the game now nelson coming forward lacazette oh he's got past tosin easily good save from butler no and Nyambe clears before Aubameyang could get anywhere near a rebound so a bit more of an entertaining start to you for you for the second half all arsenal though we're coming forward now we've given the ball away here's Bernat. Arsenal coming forward. Of course, it was a good game when you like. I think you would have, you did see Arsenal earlier on in the series. We were two 0 up against them at Ewood Park, and they come back and drew two two, which was oh, we've given away another penalty. Why do we keep giving away penalties? It's really annoying. Another penalty given away. Eze this time, and we have got to rely on Butland again. Was a penalty given? Did it just not show the penalty, or was there no penalty? On the timeline at the top, it doesn't say a penalty missed, so perhaps it was a dive. Or it was a free kick. I was too busy doing this because I couldn't believe we'd given away another penalty, and it looks like we didn't. Um, i best make a change after this attack. And there we go. They've missed the opportunity again. I have no idea. I'm really confused what on earth happened there. Bogar's having a nightmare. 6.1 rating. That's not good at all. Eze's having a nightmare as well, as we've just seen. He's a bit of a liability uh, defending. Um, so let's bring on Penaranda and Costa. And I think that will do for now. We don't want to make free changes. Let's tell them they can make a difference. Come on, boys. Let's get forward. Come on. Let's demand more from them. We'll take a point, as we said. We've had four shots on target out of four, but we're not creating as many chances as we're used to. But we are away at Arsenal, of course. Bellerin to PC. Bellerin puts a lovely ball in, and it's a good goal from Reese Nelson. 14th of the season for him. And it was coming. It really was coming. You can't knock it. Hmm, disappointing. We don't want to go very... Yeah, we will go very attacking. Stuff it. Why not? 1-0 down anyway. What's losing 2 or 3-0? If you lose him 1-0 anyway, Henderson on the ball, Penaranda dispossesses him. And then he loses the ball to Bellerin. We, we've not been good enough today. Armstrong now has the ball, he needs some support. Helder Costa coming through. Phillips now, Calvin Phillips. Lovely ball to Penaranda. Come on boys, come on, let's equal. Oh, we've messed it up. 
when we do get forward, we don't seem to do anything with it in this game. Tosin all the way back to Butland. We're attacking in this highlight now all the way back to Butland from their box to ours. Hopeful ball up to Armstrong, who's never going to win it. Reese Nelson now picks it up. He looks a very good player for Arsenal. He's very useful, isn't he? Scoring that goal. 14 goals for him as well. Bellerin's in the box. We're probably going to give away a penalty. And we've given away a penalty. Penaranda this time. Oh, this one's definitely a penalty. I decided not to do this, so I actually knew what was happening and give you some good commentary because it's pretty terrible, really. Good job I don't work for Sky Sports. PZ scores, and it's 2-0. It's game over, and we've... OK, we probably expected to lose this, but I think we've been poor today. Here's the penalty again. Disappointing. Arsenal fans can relax, it says down there, and yeah, they can because it's been poor. I think that could be the end of the top four hopes now. We're seven points behind fourth place Manchester City, eight points behind Arsenal now, who have gone up to third. So it looks like the Europa Leagues. Tell the boys they did well. No, they didn't do well. Assertively, I'm far from pleased from what I just saw. And I'm glad the boys look motivated about that because I thought that was poor. I really did. So, seventh in the league, 21 games gone. There's 15, no, silly me, 17 games left. Lots of points to play for. And it's still a tremendous season for us. Look, we're still battling for the top six, at least. We're still battling for the top four as well. We won't give up on it. Uh, and, of course, we're in the semi-final of the Carabao Cup. And we're in the Europa League knockout stage as well. So let's head across to the schedule then. Look how good we've actually been this season. I've been a bit harsh. If you go back to September the 11th, last defeat was Liverpool, 28th of August. We didn't lose until we played Wolves in November. And then we lost to Spurs once in December as well. It's actually been a very good season. That's three defeats since August. And we're now in coming up to mid-January. I think that is pretty decent form. So, guys, what we'll do, it would be rude to avoid, uh, to not show you the semi-final second leg when we play face Manchester United. It looks like we're, play yeah, we're playing Man United twice in four days at Old Trafford. You don't want to see two Man United games. That's probably going to be a disastrous episode if I did show you that. So what we'll do then, we'll show Norwich away in the fourth round of the FA Cup. It's going to be a cup special. Fourth round of the FA Cup where we're bound to play a week inside because we don't want any injuries going into that uh, second leg against Manchester United. So Norwich away for you, and then the big one against Manchester United away. Once again, guys, thank you very much for watching. If you did enjoy it, please leave a big like on the video. And if you haven't already done so and you enjoyed that, please subscribe to the channel as well. That would be amazing. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next time on Reese FC.